Hi, and welcome to Bending Emacs episode one. In this episode, I'll show you how I like to apply or maybe batch apply command line utilities. First things first though, this is a new channel. I like to maybe create some short and focused videos. This is indeed my first episode, so it's very straightforward. If you like the video and you let me know about it, then I'll make more of them. So what are we doing here? Now, we often search the web for a command of sorts so we can solve a problem. A classic example for me is FFmpeg. It's an awesome tool, but I can never remember all the options. So as a goal, we'll take some videos and convert them to GIFs via FFmpeg. How are we gonna do that? We'll use the dwim shell command emacs package or the do what I mean shell command emacs package. This is an emacs package I built some time ago for this purpose. Now we could go ahead and search the web for the appropriate ffmpeg command, but these days I'm just gonna go and try an LLM. So we take over the description and bring it to the LLM prompt itself. It's reasonably descriptive, so I'm just gonna go ahead and submit that, see what it comes up with. Okay, the LM's got given me something. I have no idea if this actually works, so we obviously have to go and validate things. So to do that, we have a director here with a video. Uh, we can actually open the video to see the first frame of the MP4. Uh, but as I mentioned, we still have to go and validate this command. So we'll just take the command that came from the LLM and we're just gonna tweak the inputs and the outputs. And run it. It's doing something and it seems like it finished. So we go to our directory and there it is. There is the GIF. Now Emacs is pretty reasonable about playing the frame. So we'll go ahead and press enter to do that. And you can see it in action. Okay, so uh, we've now validated our command. We're gonna go and uh, convert it into a dwim command template. To do that, we'll bring over the, the validated command. And now what you see at the top is the different placeholders that we can use in our templated command. So I'm gonna take the uh, first um, parameter or the, the input parameter here, which is the file, and I'm gonna use the um, F uh, placeholder, which uh, will replace it with the file that it's operating on. And then for the output, we're gonna do something similar and we'll use the FNE, which stands for file and no extension. And then we'll manually add the extension that we want, which is gift in this case. Okay, we now have a snippet. Now we wanna run it. So we'll go back to our videos directory. We'll delete the old uh, gif file that we had. And now we're gonna pull up the dwim shell command prompt. Um, I have some key bindings attached to it. So we'll go ahead and paste the templated command and press enter. And great, it created our GIF just like before. Now, I mentioned that I will show you how to apply commands, but also batch apply commands. So for that, what we're gonna do, uh, we only have one file here, so I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate it so we can have multiple files. So let's just go with three. Uh, so now we'll select three files and I'm going to go ahead and execute again the same templated command as before. Press enter. This time around, it's gonna take a little bit longer since we're now operating on three files. And there it is. It's created the three GIFs uh, for each one of the MP4 files. We'll go ahead and delete all of that since we no longer need it. And so I showed you how to run the templated command, but we might actually want to save that command so we can use it later on. So I'll show you how to do that as well. We have our templated command. We basically wrap it in a dwim shell command or mark files function, and then wrap the whole lot into a dwim shell command, sorry, into a, um, an interactive emacs command, uh, which we can subsequently uh, execute via meta x. So I'll go ahead and evaluate this. And now we have this command available to us. So if we go back to our directory with things, um, we can go ahead and apply it to it. So I'll do meta x, paste the command that we just created. And there it is. We can do the same thing um, as before if we wanna do uh, multiple files. So we'll just take three files here. And this time around, I'll show you with meta x. This is one thing I really like about um, saving these commands for later. So I can just type uh, video to gif 
and I don't have to remember anything else other than, you know, converting video to GIF and I'll just press enter and it'll do its thing on the three files I had selected. Um, maybe one more thing uh, worth mentioning here. Um, dwm shell command also operates on the current buffer. So we could technically just uh, a, execute the same command from here and it'll just convert whatever um, file is associated with that buffer. And there it is, uh, the GIF for the MP4 file. Okay, so there I showed you how to save it and how to run them anytime. That's pretty much all I got for you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and hopefully you found it uh, useful. Please let me know how the content was or maybe the, the format of the, of the video. If there are other things that you'd like me to cover in videos, have a look at my blog. I have a bunch of topics there that, uh, that you can choose from. And please leave me comments. Thanks folks. Uh, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and of course, leave me some comments. Thank you.